oppose the decision of the Knox County School Board to refuse renewal of the reciprocal agreement with the Corbin Independent School System and have no intention of placing our children in the Knox County School System regardless of this decision. What this means to you if you sign this is that if this decision does not get reversed, you're still going to send your kid to school to Corbin. Does that make sense? You know, so for me, I got three kids, it's going to be $3,600 a year. But it's worth it to me to send them there. <clears throat> when I talked to Sam Watts, you know, he went over and over again, it's money. That's what he told me. He said, this is about money. And you probably all read the paper, you know. Um, they want the 160 kids that live in Knox County and go to Corbin. They want them to come back because they get money for each one of those children. Okay? And I don't know if you, know, you saw the news story, the lady wants to calculate it, it's like $640,000, you know. Knox County wants that money, all right? So to me, the point of this petition is to sign it and say, look, you know, my kids aren't going there. You're not going to get their money, whether this thing gets turned over or not. So we can go to the school board and say, you're not going to get this money. So if money was the deciding factor, I'm hoping that this will in some way sway them. Is Knox County going to have to turn around and send the money to Barville if that's where they send them, just like they're doing currently to Corbin? Yes. So they're going to have to pay to bus them to Barville and pay the educational dollars. So that's another economic issue that the school board may want to think about, because not only are they going to lose the money, they're going to have to pay the show in some place. So we live in Cobblestone Estates, which is on Ola Road. Our subdivision is annexed into the city limits. We pay city taxes, we pay city utilities, uh, the water and sewage, but we still would have to pay the tuition because it's not city school district. The school, um, there's just so many more opportunities and possibilities with Corbinsky schools. And also, you know, we are annexed. We went through a lot to get our subdivision annexed. And I still don't have that right to send my kids to Corbinsky schools.